closet of mystery. Over there. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, I did not plan that shot. Oh boy. One of these setups cost $1,700,000. The other, a little more modest in his approach, isn't he? Are you gonna see the difference today? We do a little test in here, then we go outside, and I'll tell you which one to buy through my affiliate links. Huh? Neither? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So can you tell right off the bat which is way more expensive? Like, is it a clear, wow, I wish I had that one. We got the Sony A7S III with the 14mm 1.8 on your right versus the Olympus M13 with a little Laowa 7.5mm Tony 2 on your left. The funny thing is, so Sony lends me this lens, the 14mm 1.8, and I'm like, wow, that's fun. Having this ultra wide, like, there was some autofocus jitterings. I don't know, it was like a stepping, noticeable, but it's not always there. That's kind of nitpicking. So, having this lens to test, I'm like, oh, that's fun. I want an ultra wide lens. And then I remembered, you, I already have one. I can't move. I mean, I could, but I'd be out of focus. I already got it. Isn't it as good? Is it? Could it be? Outside, will we see the difference in the stabe with the warpy stuff? But Olympus colors, just the only thing I notice with Micro Four Thirds is the dynamic range is definitely lower. Is it today? We're in flat profile versus Cinetone. Straight out of camera, maybe? I doubt it. What's that window doing? Looks a little bright. Sony's flashing a 100 ISO at me. Unforgivable, but zero metering on both. That just went to minus 0.3. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Why? I'm in auto ISO, but manual everything else. Now, when it comes to the Sony, this is a fantastic lens. It really is. I love it. It's just that autofocus jitter can be noticeable at times, but you're probably not going to notice it. What you might however notice is the distortion it's so weird like you're looking at this image everything is straight but you have to understand in order to get that to happen in real life like with a 14 mil lens you have to stretch everything like so whenever you move like your face gets very stretched very fast are you believing this it's just, it doesn't look real. Whenever I'm like vlogging, I've made a couple videos now with this lens, really testing it out because I'm considering buying it and it just doesn't look real, like real life. It's not a natural look at all. Whereas the Laowa, I never noticed that before, but oh boy. Are we stretched out here? Probably. Looks a little stretched. How about over? in this corner. Wow. You can pretty much kiss your rule of thirds vlogging out the window. Out the window it goes. You have to be centerized. And that just ruins the closet of mystery for you. Oh man. The funniest thing to me is the size difference between these freaks. I mean when you start looking, when you're looking around, Oh man, the lens especially, like it's so much bigger, it's not even funny. Maybe this is a better angle, but just that little Laowa lens is so tiny. And then you get over to this guy, he's just a dickhead, standing in line, he's farting. Why do you fart in line? Is it because you can blame it on anybody in the line? I get it. I think Sony might have messed up by going 14 mil on this lens. I think 15 would have been a little less extreme, but still super fun. Did they have to push it that far? Because the lines get weird. I like a natural look, but ultra wide is fun. Can't you combine the two? Can't you do it, Sony? And the tone, you'll never get that kind of tone over there. Or could you? 
punching in. Can't do that. I could be in focus, even though Olympus doesn't want me to see it with the peaking. Right now. I have ton. You know what? I'll be 100% honest with you. Let me move. When I'm vlogging outside, I prefer a Tony 4 look. I like it. It looks more natural. I actually don't like the 20 mil at 1.8 outside. On the screen, it's like, oh, that looks good. And then I get it back and it's like, that's too much, Tony. You overkilled it. You overkilled it hard. I like that look. So like that 10 to 18 on this Sony, it looks good, but Sony, that vignetting never really goes away. With the active stave, I noticed it. I thought it did at like 15 mil. No, I kept, it's doable at 15 and 16, even 17, but you'll always see it eventually. Just darkness in the corners, wiggling and shaking. But I really love that look. So the 16 to 35 Tony 4, if I see the right deal come upon me, you look out, you look out, cause it's stabilized. Whereas that 10 to 18, you think that's stabilized? That's a joke. You're a joke. That stay, there's no stab in there. So with the Olympus, it's almost like the ultimate advantage outside because not only do you not need the Tone, you save weight because of it. Even though you're a Tony 2, Tony 4 Equiv, tiny, tiny. It's so small and light. So the Olympus is like the ultimate thing outside. In here, then you miss the Tone, don't you? You miss it hard. It hurts. I can hear that. Fuji lens still auto-focusing from here. Oh, what a piece of shit. Didn't I stop the recording? You're just gonna auto-focus on whatever you want, huh? So in here, which do you prefer, full frame or micro? Did you notice the tone of difference? Color science-wise, has Sony cut up with Cinetone versus flat? Let's go outside. That's where the game should change. Who has the better stave? So Olympus has the warpy stuff with this lens. Battery's about to die. Better change that out. Let's go. Who's exposing me better? I'm in the shade outside on a sunny day. Good thing the sun isn't shining. One eight thousandth flashing. I suck at my job. Oh, I should have brought ND filters. They were calling for clouds. Uh, I only see chemtrails. Who's doing it dynamic range wise? We're still in flat versus S cine. Maybe I'll, just to give Olympus a slight advantage, I'll switch to log on you and then standard profile, lowest dynamic range option over there. Dare we dream it, will we equalize our hearts? I could be in focus. There's a chance. So, stabe. Are we seeing the wiggles? We're both in digital stabe, so that could be good. I've noticed that no matter what I test, it's you just can't walk fast. Even Panasonic with the best IBIS in the game. Well, that's a lie. The 15 mil, you can just stumble around drunk and it'll get you. It'll lock right in on you. So smooth. Oh, little penny boy. Come back to me, penny boy. <laughs> Pretty good. Versus. Sony's drawn weird boxes all over the place. Why are you doing that? All right, it's back on me. Do you see what I mean though by the distorted, like it doesn't look real, the universe? Where are we? It's just so weird, like it's too wide. If I knew that, Sony knew it, which leads me to conclude that Sony probably didn't design this for vloggers. Did they? Mm. Almost like everything they designed for us is a lie, isn't it? It's a recycled lie. Yeah, I've said it. That micro bitch is so light. You can really feel it. When you do these side-by-side -side comparisons and you can't switch arms, then it really starts to get to you. The full frame's always like, we have wooden things. Wooden legs of a piece of furniture that I don't have. Oh yeah, that's coming with me. But are you seeing the cheapness of the Olympus just because of the low dynamic range? It's kind of like the highlights, they're clipping, it looks like a Kodak phone. It's 
just not quite right. Let's even the tables. Go right to log versus standard. See if you can even see a difference. Okay, are we seeing it now? Log versus U, standard versus U. That sentence was so bad. It's not even close to correct. I'm gonna start teaching English soon. Will you come to my class? You should. If anybody's wondering why the Olympus has looked strange at times in my room, it's because I've been filming in log plus one EV because I thought maybe I had a couple chances, a couple times where it was too dark and I was like, why is that? And then usually you have to overexpose a log. Who is that? There's a dog. That was the cinema. So now we're just in nothing. No exposure comp. 8,000 of a shutter. The way you should be. Just take me out of the equation. All I do is put an Olympus LUT on here. So I find the colors look decent. I actually like Sony's standard profile. I noticed in that review that I might have done of a camera that could exist, I, it looked best in standard. Whenever I messed around with like HLG or something, there's a sprinkler. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. That's, that's right on the sidewalk. It's actually spraying this car. I'm getting wet 17 feet away from me. Did you see any of that? I suck at filming and talking and walking. But yeah, standard Sony color science, I like it. It looks good, it's just low dynamic. Oh God, the raccoon eyes. Low dynamic range for outdoors and then you're like, you're not really full frame. You're not getting the advantages. There's a brush. They left it on a piece of thing. Oh man, oh, I want that so bad. I want it. The thing that hurts about this setup is it's nice out here, except for the stabe maybe. Not the best lens for that. But when you go home, then you get no tonne. Whereas this one, you could stop it down out here, but then you're screwed. I mean, you go home <laughs> and you're not screwed. You get some tonne. There, tonne four, that's much more reasonable. Uh, that's fun times out here. You don't need a 1.8, that's stupid. And now we're at a super friendly 1250 shutter speed for the motion blur. So will I be buying this beast freak of a lens? I'm not sure. I'm leaning towards not doing it and just keeping the 20 mil 1.8. We're good with that. If I want something wider, we switch to this little guy and sacrifice the tonne. Here's 2.8 on the Sony. Stop it a little bit just to replicate the Samyang. 14 mil 2.8. It's heavier than this lens. That's hilarious. Oh my God, there's a bee. Is that, are you in focus? Ah. That was the cinema. Ah. So who's winning the vlog battle? It's a hip hop battle to the death. What, ooh, shade. Sun. Who does the red shirt? Who's been doing that? I find Sony standard, it gets it. It gets the red, whereas it used to be orange. The greens were puke yellow. Like they fixed their color signs. They caught up with Canon, maybe even Olympus. I doubt it. Oh, little Olympi. It's too bad there's not a ton of options for Olympus wide angle. They have their seven to 14, it's very heavy. The nine to 18 is a joke kit lens. You really only have this as a viable option. The others are Panasonic lenses. They're not gonna autofocus right. The 8 to 25 Tony 4, give me a break. That's Tony 8. Eight Tonys in one house. Uh, they're gonna eat all the cheese. Be real with yourself. So I'm gonna leave. Who won the vlogging battle? It's an interesting lawn. Post it down below after you buy one of them through my affiliate links. The choice is up to you. You can buy this one or that one. Either one, we're all happy. So I'm gonna leave. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next